What's going on guys? What's going on guys? What's going on guys? What's going on guys? FJ Eric here and everything you just saw is what we got done last weekend. Uh, probably would have already been finished with it but I have not had the best of luck. Uh, you'll see in this next clip right here. Alright so currently on the side of the road of the interstate or the on-ramp to the interstate. Uh, brakes just stopped working on me so waiting on the tow truck to show up right now. Uh, won't be able to go to Tuscaloosa tomorrow to finish wiring and stuff on that dual battery, but uh, <laughs> That's just kind of been my luck this week and kind of on the build so far But all you can do is laugh so once I get the FJ to the shop then we'll actually see uh, what the full Problem is and see if I can't fix it pretty soon won't be without the FJ too long Hopefully fingers crossed on that one and then we'll get back on the build So today we are going to be finishing the dual battery setup and solar. Um, did end up getting these ARB uh, mounts right here for the fridge and we figured out how to stop it coming all the way out just like that. Just with a cheap ratchet strap. We'll end up changing the setup I'm sure but right now it does do its job. At the end of the video I'll go in a little bit more further depth of the batteries that I chose, some issues we ended up fixing on how everything's wired up ran and working so let's finish with that first Money in them, bigger the lie, the harder they fall. Went from MIA to LA on the run, like I don't got in the state. Yeah, I'm from LA to the A on the run. All right, so we just got the dual battery hooked up. Um, everything that the batteries are powering are going to be right back here. And I know it looks really, really bad right now. Uh, this is just temporary, obviously. Gonna have like a Molly panel that's gonna go up here. That's where I'm gonna mount everything. And then, like I said before, on this other side, uh, I'm gonna have a sub, and then above it, another Molly panel, and that's where I'll have uh, my amp. But you've got inverter, DC to DC, um, and then I've got another fuse panel. Right now, I've just got the amp sitting back there, and also have the Renogy solar um, controller back here, also. It is Bluetooth. I do have a Bluetooth controller on it. And we just tested that just a second ago. I know it's not very sunny right now, uh, but it still was showing power uh, that it was pulling. It was charging that second battery. So that is really cool that I can just pull it up on my phone. The only problem is with the Bluetooth and with my radio being Bluetooth also listening to music is it kind of wants to switch back and forth so I can kind of see a problem in the future with that. Um, just looked on Amazon. I'm probably just going to order a just a little monitor screen for it. I think it was only like 20 bucks or something. So maybe next time I'll have that installed. We can test that out somewhere on the dash. Not even sure where yet. But um, as far as the dual battery goes, show you that real fast. This was John's setup right here. So you've got the two Optima yellow top. These are going to be the Group 35 batteries. And you can see that he's got a little bit more room to work with in here than I did. This was his uh, DC to DC, so it's a lot smaller than mine. So one of the issues that we thought was going to be like major were the batteries that I got were actually bigger than these, and I'll show you what that looks like. I ended up getting the Group 34. So you can see I don't have as much room on both sides. Um, we had to end up doing the terminals just a little bit different. I've also got the breaker that's going to be back here, and then my relay is going to go somewhere right in here. We've still got wires sitting everywhere because uh, we really don't know what they go to. So next weekend we're going to be tearing that all apart. Um, Y'all won't see any of the boring stuff so don't worry. So with these batteries being a little bit bigger you've actually got terminals on both sides of these. The factory battery cables actually reach um, so that was good. When we built that battery tray uh, we were afraid it wasn't going to fit in here because we did have to do a little bit of modifications to it. And everyone said that you couldn't fit anything bigger than the 35 
but we did, so that's cool. So on the ones that John has was 48 amp hours, and these are 55, so you get a little bit bigger batteries and you can do it. Uh, just had to make a few modifications uh, right in here and kind of drilling this out a little bit. So they don't sit perfectly straight, but no worries on that. But as far as solar being hooked up, DC to DC, dual battery is fully hooked up, and I will be able to use that finally. The reason that I've been in the shop so much is because in one month from today, roughly about one month, I'm going to be leaving, driving out to Colorado, New Mexico. Um, I'm off work for about three weeks or so. I'm just going to kind of cover as much ground as I can, uh, really put this thing to the test as much as I can with being as safe as I can because I will be by myself. I've got a few friends out in Colorado that I'm going to go see and uh, just kind of spotted. So super pumped to see them. But that's the reason I'm trying to get everything done uh, as quickly as possible just to have that working. The farthest I've ever driven the FJ was Kentucky. So definitely going to be picking up some more miles, um, which I'm not ashamed of. And just going to try to live out of this basically for the full three weeks or as close to it as I can. As always though, everything that you've seen in this video will be in the description below. Almost everything I've gotten is from Amazon, so you can easily buy it. Uh, just click on those links, get whatever you like. It would really help me out. But I've got a few other big projects coming um, that I haven't told you about yet, but I'm super excited about, and uh, you'll just have to stay tuned for that. So, peace.